Now let's go live to Action News reporter Chad Perdelli in Center City, Philadelphia. Chad, as you know, officials say one of the attackers was found to have documents that said he was a Syrian refugee. And that has sparked an immediate reaction here in the United States. That's right, Jim. Anti-immigration sentiment is growing here in the United States, and critics worry that the attacks in Paris will only fuel that sentiment. As France mourns, a political hot potato has emerged in the U.S. Refugee resettlement. Roughly half of U.S. governors are now saying they're opposed to accepting Syrian refugees. Governor Chris Christie among them. He drove home the point on a radio show today. I don't trust this administration to effectively vet the people that they're asking us to take in. We need to put the safety and security of the American people first. Immigration has been at the forefront for months. Donald Trump has made it a centerpiece during his presidential presidential campaign. People of all walks of life have strong opinions. I think they really have to go through the process and really see who they're letting in. But this is America. We don't slam our doors on anyone. How do you know they're a refugee? How do you know they're not just another terrorist? How do you know we're not bringing that onto American soil? How do you know that the next war is not going to be right here in our streets? I want to protect America before I want to protect anyone else. I think it's kind of short-sighted to not have open arms for people who need you know, a place to go. It's a good kind of bread. On the Penn campus, the Muslim Law Student Association and other students were busy making signs, preparing for a show of solidarity with the French people tomorrow. For these students, there are concerns of anti-Islamic backlash. It does cross our mind. Um, after the Charlie Hebdo incident, there were numerous anti-Islam um, and Islamophobic acts in France. Um, so there's always a backlash. Um, but again, I think it's important to remember that um, this is not representative of Islam in any way, um, shape or form. And Governor Jack Markell of Delaware and Governor Tom Wolf of Pennsylvania have both said that they'd welcome Syrian refugees. I'm live in Center City, Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News. Jim? Chad, thank you.